The Bible says he's a king of the Jews. He's a king of Israel. He's a king of righteousness. He's a king of the ages. He's a king of heaven. He's a king of glory. He's a king of kings. And he is the Lord of lords. Now that's my king. David said the heavens declare the glory of God. And the firmament showeth his handiwork. No means of measure can define his limitless love. No far-seeing telescope can bring into visibility the coastline of his soulless supply. No barrier can hinder him from pouring out his blessing. Well, well, he's enduringly strong. He's entirely sincere. He's eternally steadfast. He's immortally graceful. He's impurely powerful. And he's impartially merciful. That's my king. He's God's son. He's a sinner's savior. He's a centerpiece of civilization. He stands alone in himself. He's august. He's unique. He's unparalleled. He's unprecedented. He's supreme. He's preeminent. Well, he's the loftiest idea in literature. He's the highest personality in philosophy. He's the supreme problem in high criticism. He's the fundamental doctrine of true theology. He's the cardinal necessity of spiritual religion. And that's my king. He's the miracle of the age. He's the superlative of everything good that you choose to call him. He's the only one able to supply all of our needs simultaneously. He supplies strength for the weak. He's available for the tempted and the tried. He sympathizes and he saves. He guards and he guides. He heals the sick. He cleanses the lepers. He forgives sinners. He discharges debtors. And he delivers the captives. He defends the feet. He blesses the young. He serves the unfortunate. He regards the age. He rewards the diligent. And he beautifies the meek. Do you know him? Well, my king is a king of knowledge. He's a wellspring of wisdom. He's a doorway of deliverance. He's a pathway of peace. He's the roadway of righteousness. He's the highway of holiness. He's the gateway of glory. He's the master of the mighty. He's the captain of the conquerors. He's the head of the heroes. He's the leader of the legislators. He's the overseer of the overcomers. He's the governor of governors. He's the prince of princes. He's the king of kings. And he's the lord of lords. That's my king. Yeah. My king, yeah. his office is manifold, his promise is sure, his life is matchless, his goodness is limitless, his mercy is everlasting, his love never changes, his word is enough, his grace is sufficient, his reign is righteous, his yoke is easy, and his burden is light. Well, I wish I could describe him to you, but he, he's indescribable. He's indescribable. Yeah. He, he's incomprehensible. He's invincible. He's irresistible. I'm trying to tell you, the heavens of heaven cannot contain him, let alone a man explain him. You can't get him out of your mouth. You can't get him off of your hands. You can't outlive him, and you can't live without him. Well, Pharisees couldn't stand him, but they found out they couldn't stop him. Pilate couldn't find any fault in him. The witnesses couldn't get their testimonies to agree. And Herod couldn't kill him. Death couldn't handle him, and the grave couldn't hold him. That's my king. Yeah. He always has been. And he always 
will be. I'm talking about he had no predecessor, and he'll have no successor. There was nobody before him, and there'll be nobody after him. You paid him, keep him, and he's not going to resign. That's right. Is the kingdom and the power and the glory. The glory is all his. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever and ever. And when you get through with all of the forever, then amen. <laughs>